Welcome to part 2 of my video on black holes. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, you can find it through the link provided. A black hole is an astronomical object with a gravitational pull so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape it. The formation of a black hole typically follows these stages. Stellar collapse. Black holes are usually formed from the remnants of massive stars. During a star's life, it fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing energy that counters the gravitational force trying to collapse the star. End of nuclear fusion. When a massive star, more than about 20 to 25 times the mass of the sun, exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer sustain the outward pressure against gravity. Without this pressure, the core collapses under its own gravity, leading to an immense increase in density. Supernova explosion. The collapse often triggers a supernova, a massive explosion that ejects the outer layers of the star into space. What remains is the dense core. Formation of the black hole. If the core's mass is above the Tolman, Oppenheimer, Volkoff limit, about two to three solar masses, no known force can counteract the gravitational pull. The core compresses further to a point of infinite density, called a singularity, surrounded by an event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape. Event horizon. The event horizon marks the point of no return for matter and radiation. Its size is determined by the Schwarzschild radius, which depends on the mass of